So here's my portable uh, antenna setup for 2013 in my Michigan trip. There's the Balan with 44 to 6 turns on an FT114 Type J toroid. Uh, the, the antenna is connected to the blue binding post and the ground is to the green binding post. And of course there's the coax, it's RG174 coming out. And uh, that goes back up, up to the cabin up there about 40, 50 feet away. Uh, the antenna goes 25 feet up into a white pine tree, which I had to climb to get it up in there. But I have a string that lets me to let it down really easily. The ground wire travels down uh, to this junction here, uh, about four feet below the, the ballon box. And uh, from there, there's a ground, which I'm using... Uh, one foot long aluminum tent stakes just driven into the ground. It's pretty sandy here, so there's not good conductivity. So I have uh, one at the center and four on the outskirts. So the grounds come from the center junction, uh, along 10 feet of 14 gauge wire, over to more of these uh, one foot long aluminum tent stakes. I'm just using clips to uh, can make all the connections. So there's my setup from a distance, and it goes 25 feet up this tree. Uh, which I had to climb to get it up in there. And then the uh, RG174 coax runs about uh, 40 feet up there to the cabin. Once the, once the coax comes out of the woods, it runs into this common mode choke, which is the FT140 toroid with 42 turns of the coax around it to clean up any noise on the, on the coax. And from there it runs to six turns of magnet wire, um, which is inductively coupled to the 7.5 inch loop stick and down to the to the radio. Once the signal comes into the radio, it goes out to the audio output over to the computer where I'm report, I can record it uh, for as long as I need to. This is actually right now uh, station uh, CJBC over in Toronto. This is daytime, so it's 450 kilometers away. Actually, a little bit more than that. But I can pick it up right now. It's not too bad. Here you can see my portable antenna in a vertical configuration that I use when I have access to tall trees that I can climb. If I don't have tall trees to access, I use this horizontal configuration which I'll run about six feet off the ground along a fence or some shorter trees if possible. The last picture is my portable antenna packed for travel. This consists of two Ziploc bags that has all the wires, tools, tape, and the radio, and then you can see next to it the grounding rods and the ballon. The only thing missing is the common mode choke, which is the standard 4x4 inch electrical box. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video.